Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. If you not subscribe this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily update. So, let's begin today's video. The Defense Acquisition Council meeting chaired by the Defense Minister Nirmala Sitaraman gave approval for the procurement of BrahMos missile for two of the vessels to be built in Russia. As a follow-up of the Cabinet Committee on Security in October for the procurement of four Gigrokovich class Project 1135.6 frigates will be equipped with BrahMos missile system instead of 3M54E club in anti-sea missiles and advanced sensors. The world's fastest missile has a supersonic speed of Mach 2.8, a very low cruising altitude of 10 meters at a tunnel phase and pinpoint accuracy and is expected to make the frigates of the Indian Navy more deadly. This missile has been in with the Indian Navy since 2005. At Saturday's meeting, the Defense Acquisition Council gave approval for acquisition of defense equipment worth Rs 3000 crore. This includes the BrahMos missile for the Indian Navy frigates. The indigenously designed BrahMos missile and Indo-Russian joint venture is a tested and a proven supersonic cruise missile and will form the primary weapon on board these vessels. Next update, India's Space Agency ISRO is scheduled to launch GS-8011, the heaviest satellite built by it, on board Ariane 5 rocket of Ariane Space from French Guiana on 5th December. 5854 kg GS-8011 would play a vital role in providing broadcast service across the country and also provide a platform to demonstrate a new generation application, the Indian Space Research Organization said. It is the heaviest satellite built by ISRO and its design life is more than 15 years. It was initially planned for launch 25th May was rescheduled by ISRO, setting the need for additional technical checks. European Space Transporter Ariane Space on its website said the launch window is between 2 am to 3.23 am, India time on 5th December. Next update, why lack of progress in coupling engines should be a major concern of Indian Air Force? Dr. S. Christopher, previous chairman of the Defense Research and Development Organization in 2017 edition of Aero India had announced that indigenously developed cavalry engine developed by its associated lab, Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE, will power an LCA Tejas prototype by 2019 edition of Aero India. Many back then had questioned the viability of having a workable engine in such a short period of time even through. It was officially known at the time that Safran, a French company which manufactured engines for Rafale combat jets, had become technical consultant for the GTRE gas turbine research establishment to help fix issues with the cover engine. Last update on the program was the Safran, which carried out the technical audit of the program, has cleared the cavalry engine for integration into the LCA Tejas aircraft to carry out limited flight envelope trials before the GTRE is required to clear cavalry engine in high altitude trials. For that, it will be heading out to overseas high altitude test facilities and in 2017, cavalry engine was tested for 155 hours in endurance mode. Even through cavalry engine program, has been disliked from LCA Tejas program for almost a decade now. Cavalry engine is still vital for the Indian aerospace program like country's first stealth Ghatak combat drones which would be powered by a dry version of the Kaviri engine and is supposed to make its first flight before AMC program due to greater urgency shown to the unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAV program by the Indian Air Force. Safran, French engine maker was supposed to contribute about 500 to 600 crore as a part of offset of the 36 Rafale purchase and also NCO certification of engine within 18 months after approved by the Indian government is yet to officially deliver on timeline promised nor has made an investment of funds and transfer of technology as promised. Dry cavalry engine is important for Ghatak UCAV program and upgraded cavalry engines are important for Indian Air Force to replace currently American supplies GE engine to reduce its dependency on imported engine and also ensure that it is not affected by sanctions or lack of supply in case of war to around 200 class LCA Tejas aircraft. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment, and stay with us.